because some of these texts don't just tell us what people believe they tell us what people feared and that fear is showing up in places where no one expected a scroll buried by mount vesuvius in 79 a.d found in herculaneum a mansion that may have belonged to julius caesar's in-laws it was too fragile to unroll until ai stepped in what if the dead could speak again not through seances or ancient myths, but through machines. In 2024, artificial intelligence cracked open a 2,000-year-old scroll buried by a volcano. What it revealed wasn't a poem or a prophecy, but a terrifying warning. From lost empires to forbidden scripts, from women's hidden codes to vanished languages that defied every attempt at understanding, AI is now decoding what humanity long feared, the secrets that were never meant to return. This is Echoes of the Forgotten, and today's episode, Ancient Language Decoded by AI. What it revealed is terrifying. We've heard stories of ancient texts uncovered in pyramids, temples, caves. But now, machines are reading what humans never could. Why does that matter? Because some of these texts don't just tell us what people believed, they also tell us what they feared. And some of these fears are showing up in places no one expected. Fire, collapse, silence, these are the recurring themes AI is finding in supposedly lost languages across the globe. Let's rewind. What kicked this off? A scroll buried by Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD, found in Herculaneum, a mansion that may have belonged to Julius Caesar's in-laws. It was too fragile to unroll until AI stepped in. In 2023, a challenge was issued. Decode the scrolls using non-invasive imaging and artificial intelligence. The world watched, and three young researchers did what no historian could. They virtually unwrapped carbonized layers and found a name. Porphyrus, Greek for purple, the color of royalty, the color of power. But beneath that, fragments, philosophical, political, and dark. The text wasn't just a meditation on life. It described fire returning, strategic silence, cycles of smoke. Are we talking metaphor or prophecy? We don't know, but it wasn't written after Vesuvius erupted. It was written before, possibly predicting or warning of something. It's not just one scroll. Around the world, AI is reviving languages no one has spoken in thousands of years. Let's go to the Indus Valley. Over 4,500 years ago, people there etched strange symbols on seals and tablets. No Rosetta Stone, no translation key, no idea what a single symbol means. Until now, AI is grouping by frequency and location. It is not translating, it is mapping. Some sequences repeat as names, others cluster like prayers or commands. But what's chilling is the message when themes emerge across civilizations that never met. Exactly. When Easter Island's Rongorongo and the Estrucan language in Italy, together with Nushu, a script used secretly by Chinese women, all start talking about collapse, silence, and cleansing, you begin to ask yourself, what these warnings? Let's talk tech. We use three main tools language modeling, pattern recognition, and symbol clustering. With this, AI does not need to understand meanings. It sees what is repeated, understands what is grouped, and what breaks the pattern. Tools like Protosnap, Hero LM can identify subtle variants of cuneiform or Egyptian hieroglyphs. Even erased words, palimpsests are being restored with RTI and GANS. Are we restoring history? or awakening something meant to stay buried? That's the debate. 
because some of these texts don't just talk about politics or farming. They speak of ritual bloodletting, timing of celestial events with sacrifice. One Mayan glyph found in three different cities refers to the great thirsting, a mega drought accompanied by chants of renewal. Sound familiar? Climate disaster? Or spiritual anticipation of one. Either way, it is eerie. Then there's Nushu, hidden in embroidery, songs, and hand-folded letters. This was a script used by Chinese women forbidden from education. AI decoded it in 2025. What it found was not beauty, but sorrow. Letters that spoke of bitterness woven into moonlight, of daughters who would never speak freely, of something dark approaching under bright sky. Was it poetry or was it encrypted truth? Why do so many of these decoded languages speak of disappearance? Because they did disappear, almost overnight. Not evolved, erased. Silenced by war, colonization, religion, and politics. These were not lost languages, they were buried. And then, there's the Voynich Manuscript. Possibly the strangest book on earth. Weird things, an unreadable script, odd images, herbal diagrams, photos of naked women in pools. AI thinks part might be encoded in Hebrew. Others think it's a hoax. But one theory suggests it was a guide to midwifery and forbidden female medicine. So knowledge meant to heal hidden in code? Exactly. Because those who held the power feared what was inside. The more AI decodes, the more it finds the same themes. Fire, collapse, silence, and hidden power. These messages come from scripts once carved into bones, painted on walls, sung in secret. Messages that saw their world fall, and maybe ours too. So the final question isn't just what did they say, it's why were they hidden? And should we be reading them now? Because machines will keep going. They won't stop for taboos. They won't flinch at prophecy. They won't question what they resurrect. But maybe we should. This has been Echoes of the Forgotten. If you found this story chilling, fascinating, or thought-provoking, subscribe, leave a comment, and prepare for next week's episode, The Forbidden City's Hidden Map. What AI found under Beijing will change everything. Until then, stay awake, stay curious, and be careful what you uncover. <laughs> <laughs>